Up, up, up. Hi everyone, Bythony Mitano here, the internet's busiest music nerd. And it's time for a review of this new Dochi mixtape, Alligator Bites Never Heal. Florida native rapper, singer, songwriter, Dochi. For a few years now, she has been one of the most promising artists on the Top Dog Entertainment roster. And considering the bar that label has set historically, that's saying a lot. I mean, this is the same outlet that gave us Kendrick Lamar, SZA, Schoolboy Q, Absol, and through a bunch of singles and a few EPs that she has released so far, Dochi has showcased levels of lyricism, of personality, of character uh, that could take her equally as far. For one, she had one of the most impressive showings of the 2022 XXL freshman class that she, her Black Bitch EP she dropped the same year, was quite impressive. And she has been building up things interestingly in 2024 with all of the singles and the lead to this new tape, as well as the uh, Florida banger hip house anthem featuring JT that is alter ego. Oh! So all of that had me waiting with bated breath to see what she would deliver to us this year. And at least for now, uh, Dochi's plans just kind of seem to be this tape, which is under 50 minutes in length. It's 19 tracks, and I stress once again, this thing is supposed to be a mixtape, not an album. And it very much feels like it. As artistically, I feel like Dochi's ambitions on this thing come off kind of tempered, with a great deal of tracks on this project, uh, kind of feeling like loosely defined mood pieces or freestyles, which may be backed by some hard-hitting beats, but still don't really have a whole lot of structure. And also, when listening to this thing. I don't think Dochi is shooting for the stars commercially either, as there aren't really any big features packed into this project or any uh, potentially viral choruses to my ears. I mean, Alter Ego that I mentioned earlier isn't even on the tape, which at this point, I'm not sure if that's just going to be a non-album single or uh, will later see a home on a formal album down the road. Either way, again, for now, Alligator Bites uh, is seemingly the project that we've got. And in a way, it feels like it's serving very much the same purpose the She, Her, Black Bitch EP did, and really telling us more of what we already knew if you've been paying attention, that Dochi is a versatile and talented rapper with a lot of lyrical wit. And sometimes on track, she brings levels of passion and energy that are just erupting out of her, like on the very unhinged Boom Bap, or the slick and catchy Nissan Altima, where she uh, calls herself the Hip Hop Madonna, and also the Trap Grace Jones. <laughs> yes, we kind of need that. The issue ultimately is, though, all of this hype and emotion isn't uh, very much focused on this tape, and I guess that's probably by design to a degree, because the track list on this thing feels less like a series of formal songs and more like a bunch of look what I can do's. But I will say, even in this somewhat disorganized state, uh, Dochi is still pretty entertaining. Whether she's bringing a very heady and funny pen game to the table, like on the opener, where she says, talking out my ass, and that's my assumption, but but that's my conjunction. That's funny. Uh, there's also the very cold-blooded and braggadocious bullfrog, which is fantastic. She switches things up successfully once again with some zany and psychedelic boom bap with boiled peanuts, uh, which is very much giving like the far side vibes. Then Denial is a River is a hilariously executed story song where she's uh, kind of bouncing back and forth between alternate personalities. And I would absolutely love to hear her indulge in this sort of thing more on future projects. The versatility of this tape continues to expand on the following skip, where Dochi embraces some very slow, harmonious, uh, chopped and screwed-esque production, shows off her singing chops too, and while I do like what this track brings to the table in terms of aesthetics and vibes in one breath, in another this track just feels so half-baked song-wise, which becomes more and more the case for a bunch of different cuts on this tape as we dive deeper into it. Because yeah, there are just a lot of songs on this thing I am left wanting more from, be that Hide and Seek, or Bloom, which is very much kind of like a malformed interlude that overstays its welcome. There's the very sleepy, sensual, and kind of one-dimensional huh. Also, Boom Bap that I mentioned earlier, where Dochi is very much bringing this totally chaotic ODB or Kanye level energy to the mic, which is great. I just wish she brought uh, stronger verses to accompany it. And Profit is another moment that brings an interesting vibe to the table, some very 
very glamorous pop rap with some ritzy piano chords that I do like a lot, but structurally it's just one of uh, quite a few songs on this tape that I think is just too brief. This track also brings up a bar that sticks out among the many on the record where Dochi is talking about how uh, her label doesn't really like the direction she's going in artistically. But I don't know, to my ears as a listener, I kind of feel like uh, the problem with this tape is that it has a lack of direction, really. Not like a crazy direction that sort of seems like uh, it has no commercial viability. From here, we kind of go into a sleepy final leg for the project where some of the most forgettable tracks turn up. But with that being said, there are low-key moments on this project where uh, Dochi does actually bring some more structure, some more lyricism, be that on Wait or Death Roll or Beverly Hills. But these tracks, while good, they are also kind of the exception to the rule as uh, a lot of the more measured songs on this tape, I think, come across like just passable filler. But believe me when I say that uh, Just Okay is about as bad as this album gets. And there are certainly more highlights than there are lowlights uh, across its runtime. It's also worth pointing out that Dochi comes across on this tape as uh, very much a product of the era of rap music she's coming up from and seems very heavily influenced by the likes of Princess Nokia, Tyler the Creator, Nicki Minaj, uh, to a lesser extent also Doja Cat, Lauren Hill, Missy Elliott, Kendrick Lamar, SZA, uh, Bismarcky on that throwback track, Andre 3000. Uh, so even if this record isn't as well groomed as I hoped it would be going into it, uh, it's still incredible that Dochi seemingly has the capacity to do it all if she sets her mind to it. The main issue though is that there's not really a whole lot of organization to all of it and uh, very little follow through on some pretty key tracks. So yeah, that's ultimately how the tape falls short, but again, with this thing being categorized as a mixtape, uh, I guess you could kind of understand how she wouldn't go all out with her biggest beats, her biggest choruses, or really any uh, show-stopping features. Once again, I'm walking away from a Dochi project feeling like, okay, there's like some serious potential here, but I guess I'm gonna have to wait a little bit longer to hear all of it come to fruition, which is why I'm feeling a strong six to a light seven on this thing. Transition, have you given this record a listen? Did you love it? Did you hate it? What would you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I review next? Hit the like if you like, please subscribe and please don't cry. Hit the bell as well. Over here next to my head is another video that you can check out. Hit that up or the link to subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano, Adochi, the forever.